Zach, and this is a dev update for my VR guitar project. I was completely away from the project for about six weeks, but I was able to make some progress over the past two days. I'm building this for Leap Motion's 3D Jam contest, and the deadline is coming up quickly, so hopefully I can get this wrapped up soon. In my last update, I talked about inventing some guitar features that are only possible in VR. As a first step toward that goal, I have taken the guitar strings and split them up into multiple segments. Each segment contains a note based on the selected chord. The segments in the center are the widest, and these contain the main notes of the chord. The smaller segments contain higher notes to the left, lower notes to the right, and these notes are always part of the same musical scale. So, when you select the G major chord, all of the notes will be in the G major scale. Sometimes two different strings will have segments that contain the same note. Just like you'd expect from real guitar strings, these notes are the same, but the tone is slightly different due to the thickness of the strings. Strumming between these segments creates a nice echo effect. With the new string segments, you can play songs that are more interesting and more complex, like Street Spirit from the beginning of this video. To play that song on a real guitar, you need to move the fingers of your left hand to adjust the chord. VR guitar, you strum different segments with your right hand instead. These segments also allow you to play multiple notes on the same string at the same time, which is not possible with a real guitar. You might have noticed that I added a white ring as a new visual indicator. This is just an early version, but I'm looking for something that will help make my strumming more accurate while playing the string segments. The ring also grows as your finger moves away from the strings, which provides some indication of depth. My previous dev update showed how the strumming mechanics work. Essentially, there is a plane that rotates based on your finger movements, and a strum occurs when your finger passes through. In this build, I was able to stabilize the plane's rotation, which makes the strumming more accurate. To do this, the code compares the direction of finger movement versus the normal of the plane, and then reverses the direction vector if it's pointing in the opposite way. The plane works the same with either direction, and now it doesn't have to rotate 180 degrees each time the finger strums back and forth. This update also includes some rendering optimizations. I was already using shared materials and other techniques for dynamic batching, but I was able to reduce the batch count even more in this build. First, I made the lights exclude most of the guitar's elements. Second, I moved all the text labels into a single canvas. In the frame debugger, we can see that the guitar renders in just three passes. Then there are additional passes for the glow effect, and after that all the steps repeat again for the second VR camera. So what's next? Most importantly, I want to try some new chord selection mechanics. I might place the selectors into a single row, like a guitar's fretboard. From there, I might move the left cursor from the hand's fingertip to its palm. Your hand naturally rotates around your palm, so I think you could rotate your hand without moving the cursor very much. If that's true, then hand rotation would be a good way to switch chord types while staying within the same chord selector. That's all for today's update. If you have ideas or questions, leave a comment and we'll talk. You can find this entire video series on my YouTube channel, and find me on Twitter for project updates. Dev up, 